What's up, y'all? It is May 19th, 2019. I know it's been a minute since I've made a video. It's been like a, over a week and a half. Uh, I've just had a lot of things going on in my life. You know, I've just been... And plus, you know, I've had the time to make a video. I just really haven't had that oomph to make a video because, I mean, the news that was coming out about the Cowboys... Eh, stuff we already knew, so it really wasn't no, it was no need to make a video on that stuff. But a couple of days ago, I read an absolutely ridiculous article. Uh, it was just absolutely absurd. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I was so pissed that I was actually going to do a video that day when I saw the article, but I was so pissed that I had to refrain from making that video. And you guys seen me pissed. Y'all seen me pissed. Y'all seen me on my rants, my raves. Y'all seen this. And my anger that day was risen to the next level. I, I, I was gonna take that shit to the next level, but I didn't. I w decided to wait, digest it all, just to just see if I could like try to understand this, this bullshit that's going on. But I still couldn't understand it. I still can't get it. That's how preposterous it is. I just can't stand it. Ezekiel Elliott, the disrespect that he has garnered across the league and from pro football focuses especially, I can't, I don't understand how we, we're going to have to start considering Ezekiel Elliott underrated. A guy in his first three seasons has led the league in rushing twice. In his second season, he was suspended on a bogus charge and for six games suspended on a bogus charge and still almost ran for a thousand yards. We're going to have to consider that guy underrated. The league, people who judge the game, they, I, I, I don't get them. I don't understand it. You guys, I'm going to read this article to you. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section because you already know my thoughts, but do you think that Ezekiel Elliott is being disrespected across the league? Do you think he the the in, the hatred is so intense for the Cowboys that they are willing to undercut and disrespect a legitimate star superstar in this league? If he played for someone else, he would get much more respect. Do you guys think that? Cuz I know I do. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Or if you just feel like, hey, you know what? He ain't that damn good. It's about the O-line. If you feel that way, go ahead and put it in the comment section too. But I can't protect you from the Cowboy fans that are going to come in and like chew your head off. That's all I'm saying. And I encourage my fellow Cowboy fans, if you see a hater in the comment section, chew their fucking heads off. Do it. All right? Let me get, this, get to this article. It says... Ezekiel Elliott missing from top talents under 25 list. This is absolutely insane. Ezekiel Elliott is not one of the NFL's top players under 25 years old. Allow that to sink in for a moment. The reigning rushing champion isn't good enough to be on a list that includes top players in the league under 25 years old. Now realize this isn't a fact just an opinion of pro football focus who put their annual top 25 players under 25 years of age at the start of the upcoming season. Elliott did not make the list, but he did manage to make the just missed portion. Mark Chichester and PFF cited their reasoning. There's no doubt that Ezekiel Elliott is one of the top players in his position. But it's hard to overlook the fact that his production is, in large part, thanks to the offense that Dallas has built around him. Over the last three years, Ezekiel Elliott ranks first in rushing attempts, rushing yards, rushing yards after contact, and first down conversions. However, his three-year rushing grade of 80.2 ranks ninth among the 36 running backs with at least 300 attempts in that span, while his 0.119 missed tackles forced per attempt ranks tied for 27th among the same group. So, basically, they're saying he's just, you know, a product of the system. You know, he has so many weapons around him that he has no choice but to be successful. That's what they're saying.
did they not see the six games that he was out where like the, the offense was just was sputtering because he wasn't in there? He's a product of the system, and if you plug in anybody, they'll be just as successful. But when you take Ezekiel Elliott out, the, the Cowboys offense just stalls. And that's no disrespect to Dak Prescott. But the offense completely stalls without Ezekiel Elliott. We've seen this before, man. We've seen this. And for you to sit there and say that he's a product of the system and if you plug in anybody it'll just it'll go just as well it'll it'll be just fine really you're going to punish him for that i guarantee you if Ezekiel Elliott played for the Green Bay Packers Denver Broncos Oakland Raiders and he did the things that he's doing right now, he would be regarded as the best back in the league. How come no one, Todd Gurley has, you know, chronic arthritis in his knee. How come nobody ever says he's the product of the system? Because I mean, when you look at their offensive system, all the weapons that they have, Sean McVay, all the weapons that they have, how come nobody's going to say he's a product of the system? How come nobody is going to say, well, Saquon Barkley is a product of a broken system? He's the only playmaker on the team, and that's why he has so many yards. If he had another playmaker on the team, if he had, if he had all this, maybe his numbers would take a dip. How come nobody says that? How come nobody says Le'Veon Bell, he has all the time in the world to dance around in the backfield and pick a hole because this offensive line is so great and they give him that time? How come nobody takes that away from Le'Veon Bell? How come that doesn't discredit Le'Veon Bell? I can pick holes. If you pick a running back in today's league right now and say he's better than Ezekiel Elliott, I can pick holes in all of your arguments. Why don't you just give Ezekiel Elliott the credit that he deserves? It is incredibly hard to lead the league in rushing. And to do it twice in your first three seasons, that's borderline Hall of Fame material right there. If Ezekiel Elliott keeps on this pace, he is going to be a bona fide Hall of Famer. And for everyone to disrespect him like he's a product of the system, like he's garbage without it, if you could just replace him like that. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John 1991 That's J-A-R-R-O-D-J-O-H-N-1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.